is one of the most outspoken critics of police use of force here in the Valley, but he gets some on-the-job training about use of force this tonight. Very interesting stuff. Reverend Jarrett Maupin led protests and marches after Phoenix police shot and killed an unarmed man. Well, tonight, he gets a chance to experience the split-second decisions that police have to make when encountering a suspect. And our Troy Hayden was right along with him tonight, getting the training as well. This must have been eye-opening. It was. It was a really interesting experience. You know, we've all watched those protests all over the country after police officers are accused of shooting people who aren't armed. But what would happen if one of those protests on here? felt what it was like to wear a badge and then be put in a life-or-death situation himself? So I'm going to have you put your hol put the holster on right inside your, your belt loop there. Jarrett Maupin gets his weapon. You might recognize him as a high-profile organizer in the minority community. Just last month, he led marches on Phoenix Police Headquarters after an officer shot an unarmed man. We want his badge. We want his gun. We want his job. Today, he accepted an invitation to look at things from the other side, agreeing to go through a force-on-force -force training session with the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Three scenarios where you have to decide to shoot or not shoot. Scenario one we're, we're is a call you, about a man casing cars in a parking lot. Moppin approaches the man and starts asking questions. What? Uh, you have your hand in your you're gun? looking for your vehicle. What kind of car do you drive? Where you have your hand in your gun? What Where kind of car do you drive? It's my car, man. Oh. Moppin, the officer, is shot. It happens that fast. At what time did you think oh. that it was time for you to address the use of force that was given? Uh, when he came to the back of the vehicle, Okay. Uh, and and was hiding. You know, I could sense something something was wrong. Scenario two, a call of two men fighting. What's going on today, gentlemen? What's wrong with you? What's going on today, gentlemen? What do you want? What's happening here? What's wrong with Back you? Back up. Huh? <laughs> Shot his ass quick. Quick. He didn't even try. He didn't even try to de-escalate. Oh, <laughs> yo, he shot his ass quickly. Yo, yo this he, this is like he didn't he didn't have a weapon. He was unarmed. I mean, as far as <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> Oh, hit the like button, man. Hit the PayPal, hit the Cash App. You don't get this nowhere else, man. Look at this. Look at this motherfucker, man. And you can see the cowardice in his eyes. He's a bitch ass nigga, like running yeah. around with a bullhorn. So I want yeah. police badges and shit, nigga. You was a whole fucking waste of space, my nigga. You all, you, you, your mother should have swallowed you, my nigga. You look, look at look at what this nigga was doing. Community. <laughs> Just last month, he led marches on Phoenix Police Headquarters after an officer shot an unarmed man. We want his badge. We want his gun. We want his job. Today, <laughs> this fucking clown, man. What a fucking waste of fucking space, man. Something was wrong. Scenario two. A call of two men fighting. What's going on today, gentlemen? What's wrong with you? What's going on today, gentlemen? What do you want? What's happening here? What's wrong with Back you? Back up. Huh? What are you doing, man? Hey. Hey, he shouldn't approach me. He shouldn't approach me. He we shouldn't approach me. He shouldn't approach me. in there. Yeah. What are you doing? He smoked you him. Hey, Just right. like that. Tell me why you shot. Well, I, I've shot because he was within that zone. You know, I felt there was a. <laughs> what zone? <laughs> what zone? <laughs> you know. Jesus. Uh, he looks like that. Um, that son man, who's doing all that activism shit to to not get bullied by, uh, bigger and better. Some words. Yeah. Exactly. He has that look. He has that look. Or, or he's just doing it to like assert his blackness because he, in some other way he feels inadequately black. Right. Yep. Yeah, he looks uppity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're not a thug or you ain't, you know what I'm saying, or you're married to a white woman or some shit like that. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> some guilt. <laughs> yeah, man. This fucking clown, man. 
was a, an imminent threat. I, I didn't necessarily see him armed, um, but he, he came clearly to do some harm to, uh, to the officer, to my person. It's hard to make that call. It's a, it shakes you up. Again, an unarmed man was shot. Scenario three, a call about a possible burglar walking He's down the street. Dude, Mopping gets him on the ground. He's not complying. I need you to keep your hands up. That was George Floyd. Because I need to check that waistband. Well, what? What are you doing? Because I don't know hey, what you have under there. Everybody, look at this guy. What are you doing? No shots fired. Look at his <laughs> knee. <laughs> he got his knee up. He knows the, the protocol. The did have a hidden knife in his waistband. I went through the scenarios, too. Jesus Christ, man. These people are fucking shit stains, man. He probably would have shot this guy if that guy would have resisted like a sun man resisted. Right. <laughs> They're critical of uh, Chauvin, but the regular reaction of a man is to put his knees on someone because the center of mass will be concentrated on that, on that knee, right? Uh, it, it's just how judgmental and bitch at this guy's a bitch, man. For like, yo, think about it, yo. Just this shit right here. Like, they shot some fucking, probably some piece of shit, transient motherfucker, goddamn career criminal. And of all the things going on in that community, he was he mobilized all these people around that cause. You might recognize him as a high-profile organizer in the minority community. Just last month, he led marches on Phoenix Police Headquarters after an officer shot an unarmed man. We want his bag. We want his gun. He could have used whatever power he had to do this. He could have done so many more tangible things. Yeah, no bullshit. That's a lot of people. It's like, yo, it's such waste of space, man. So I said their mother should have swallowed them, man. That orders a uh, admission that that Reverend Moppin just made. Right. That you need to comply for your own safety. Right. And he saw it. I mean, he plainly shot a man who was not armed but was coming at him. And he felt, you know, that he was unsafe at that point. That he was coming after him and, and he fired. Yeah. And I don't think any officer goes into work thinking, I'm going to shoot and kill somebody today. No. But these interesting, you know, things happen. Like the guy coming wow. from behind the SUV, boom. Her saying that would have <laughs> yeah. a lot of trouble. This is eight years ago, I think. I think this oh. is eight years ago. Yeah, this is eight years ago. Oh, okay. What do you mean? You, you, Karen, you have a, you have a, you, privilege. Like, privilege wasn't even probably a big thing at this point. Your privilege it was is bubbling. Like, yeah, no, it was bubbling. It was bubbling. It wasn't there yet, but I, I think it was bubbling. Yeah, definitely. But she would have, her as a white woman, just asserting that, because, you know, white people don't know anything about police. Police are a black thing. Like, <laughs> right. How dare you insert your whiteness into this conversation or something you don't know? Thanks to the American wow. Sheriff's Office for uh, taking us through that today. That, it was an eye opener. That's a it's tremendous uh, admission that that Reverend Moppin just made. Right. That you need to comply for your own safety. Right. And he saw it. I mean, he plainly shot a man who was not armed but was coming at him, and he yeah. felt, you know, that he was unsafe at that point. That he was coming after him, and and he fired. Yeah. And I don't think any officer goes into work thinking I'm going to shoot and kill somebody today. Oh, that's Carrie Lake. Oh, that, that is, is yes. Carrie Lake. Wow. Okay, it makes sense now. That's Carrie Lake. It's interesting. You know, things happen. Like the guy coming from behind the SUV. Boom, and you're done. And you, you are. How, Six how shots did you, you got off. How did you feel about about those scenarios when you were going through them? How it, did, did it change your perspective? Yeah, it just. It, I, I've been through one of these before, about four or five years ago. But it just reinforced how fast things happen, and you think. At the time, oh, I can think through this and I can figure this all out. Do no, it it's boom. It's just there. Yeah. It's that fast. I have a lot of respect for Moffin for going through that. Yeah, I agree. I do too. And agreeing to go through that and, and seeing it from the I will say that. I will give I give him credit for that. I will say that. That son man, I give him credit for that. For you know, kind of switching his position. No, he probably got a lot of shit for doing it. it. For actually doing oh, for it. doing it. Yeah, yeah. No nah, facts. Yeah, I, I yeah, I give him that. Yeah, give him credit for doing that, man. Because I mean, 
I will say that. But he's a bitch ass nigga before that, man. 